Hey everyone! Hello! We're doing a quick channel update for a video for you. Neither of us are going to be in frame today because we both look like a mess and we can't be asked to get ourselves tidied up. <laughs> no, not really, not that bad. We're just being lazy. So, um, what we're doing then, uh, we have a load of terrain that we're actually sorting out. As you can see, these are our ruins that we use for our 40k battle reports. And we have finally decided to actually put some effort in and get them finished. So we've now got them all on MDF boards, we're sanding down the edges, three are done, two left to do, then we're going to blob it all in a five litres worth of PVA glue and then bury it in sand. So we're expecting to have like piles of sand like up here and pouring off the edge of the table and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, George is like cringing at the moment because she'd be the one hoovering it up. <laughs> no, I mean you do it. Alright. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be chilling for this week. We'll be no about our reports while we get this done because we actually need yeah, the table it, it, for it. It is about time we've got the book. You've already had them like three years. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, we've got the mats rolled up nice and out of the way. This is the table that we actually play on. As you can see, it's just some plywood that we um, put a bit of yeah, it's paint stuff. on. Yeah. And yeah, so the battle report we're going to be doing will be a 40k battle report as soon as we got all this done. So, it'll be on that. It'll be on a brand new fat mat that we get um, got on the way, and the battle report will be between Tau and Orcs because Georgie has some Orcs that you want to play with, don't you? Yeah, some new some. Yeah, I've got some bikes. Yeah. So, and I've actually been putting some more work into my Tau again. So my Riptide is now finally, finally finished, and it looks absolutely fantastic, which you'll see when we get it going. I've just ordered a light box as well, so expect to see the professional pictures of Georgie's Sylvan F on one of our battle reports. Probably join the Rambles or something like that. We have yep. plans for our next rambles as well. Uh, we will be splitting the battle reports up. Um, as you noticed in our last battle report, we had um, a moment where we said, oh yeah, you guys, you can like, leave now and all the rest of it. We're going to make that a thing and we're going to have a transition into the rambles. And then rambles, we're going to be talking about upcoming stuff for the channel, um, law and all sorts of that literally comes into our mind. In the next one, we actually have it planned. We will be talking about tyranny law and I'm going to explain to Georgie as best as I can the yeah. fluff and law around the Tyranids and how gross and gribbly they are. Yeah, I saw some of the awesome models they had in Forge World. The one was massive. I thought, I thought it was awesome. Mm. So I'll explain basically what the It'd take a Tyranids are take all about. Them, it? Yeah, it would. It, it would literally fit on one of those boards. Mm -hmm. Like that entire board would be the model. That's mm -hmm. how big it is. You don't realise. When you're at Warhammer World, I know some of you guys will never probably get to go. But they have massive display cabinets like we've got here. These are tiny in comparison. Theirs are like triple the size. And they're, again, a lot deeper about that much again. So then they have like Warlord Titans in there. And when you actually look at them, they look tiny, these Titans do. And then you can imagine when you get them home, they literally stand like that tall, like that much off the terrain. They are absolutely humongous. But when you actually look at them at Forge World, you're like, why is it that much money? I mean, Forge World's never been cheap, but... Yeah, no, you... <laughs> uh, like, when you look at the Primarchs, the Primarchs look like the size of a Space Marine, but when you actually get it in your hand and you put it next to a Space Marine, you're like, oh my god, <laughs> that thing's huge. So, um, in other news, George's um, Ever Queen is now started to be painted. Yeah, so we will be seeing that coming over within a week's time Ooh. or so. So after the 40k battle report, you'll be seeing the Ever Queen fully professionally painted yeah, and yeah, based by... Extra stuff. Oh, you'll make room. There's not enough shit, not enough cabinets now, Kevin. Well, do you know what you'll have to do? I'll have to have an extension. You'll have to pack it all up and send it off. Pack all what up? <laughs> all your silver nest stuff. Yeah, oh, does not use the Everqueen, just leave it in his box. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we'll be seeing the Everqueen on the channel after the 40k battle report. That will be the um, next one we'll do for the Age of Sigma. And that's pretty much everything, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's everything we wanted to mention. So yeah, as we, uh, quick um, overview again, we're working on train, we need the table for it, which means we can't record any battle reports. So we will be chilling for the next couple of days while we sort this lot out. We have the paint, we have everything. We've got the spray paint ready. We've got the airbrush paints. We've got everything, we're ready to roll. We just need um, to get this all sanded and sanded again with the PVA sand and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, thanks very much for tuning in guys, you guys mean the world yeah, to us, that's why we do. make these channel update videos, just, just to you. make sure yeah. that you actually <laughs> keep up to date with us. You can now follow us on Twitter by the way, that's at Prime and Go, so if you want any updates and everything I do post on there, Georgia will be doing the same, and yeah, make sure to subscribe because once we hit the 250 mark, 
we have um, the giveaway to do and once we hit 500 and we we're going to be giving away a um, Burning Up Prospero box set to the yeah. Prospero so if you are interested in that be sure to subscribe because as soon as we hit the 500 mark we will be doing a giveaway for it we've ordered some ourselves so we're going to actually um, get on with doing those yeah we've got a lot that we want to get done actually we've got like a lot we're going to have to make like a schedule or something well we have got a few days off now so. yeah yeah thankfully it makes a change doesn't it actually having time off I mean, yeah so yeah, with my time off so far, I've actually oh, started this terrain. Look at that pile up there on the fucking thing. Yeah, that's all our start You're collecting box. You don't have a pile it anymore, really. I've got a space for another two boxes. Two? Yeah, another two boxes. What have we got up there? We've got Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma, yeah, and then Imperial Guard at the very top. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks very much for tuning yeah. in, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure you actually check out um, Titus Miniature Painting Service. Yeah. Because if you do do a commission order over £100, he will give you 10% off by quoting Prime and Go. So, until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Right, just a quick add-on to the end of this video. <laughs> As you can see, we've just done it, and look at the mess we've made. This is the reason why we won't be making any bar reports for a week. So we need to clean all this up and get the rest of this sorted. But, it's all standard. This has been used with a combination of fine and coarse grit that one as well and then we've used some sawdust on that one with different types of sand that we've got then we use a mixture on that one and then a mixture on that one as you can see we've covered the bloody entire thing so um, yeah we've just got to wait two days now we'll let it all set and then knock it all off and then it's spray away with the massive can of if I can get it da -da -da -da, Chaos Black Spray Primer Brr, yes for the win anyway so thanks again guys and we'll see you in the next one bye